Hey friends, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Rachel and I'm so excited you're here today. We are in our last week of talking about the different ways we can have next level faithfulness like Daniel. Next level faithfulness means we are standing with God. And the way we stand with God is by doing what God says. That's our big idea for today. I can be faithful by doing what God says. Would you say that with me on the count of three? One, two, three. I can be faithful by doing what God says. Nice. Do you know God says we can worship Him and praise Him? One way we can do that is by singing about Him. In fact, I have a song for us today that reminds us just how awesome God is. I would just love to sing that with you right now. But since it's our last time together, I want to see if we can sing the song really, really loud today. So stand up and let's sing big and strong together really loud. Let's sing big and strong together. Can you guys move around? Good job. We're going to sing My God is Big and Strong. Let's sing it out together. My God is big and strong. Wow, that was super loud. Thanks for singing with me. I love that song because it helps me remember that God is big and strong and he stands with me. He's there when I'm in trouble. Daniel found himself in trouble more than one time, but he always had next level faithfulness. I know this because of a story in this book right here. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book. Daniel's story is in this book, and I want you to see it. And there's going to be an animal in the story that says, Roar! Can you guess what animal that is? Hmm, let's see if you're right. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey! Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel! Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear you. Thanks. Well, wow, time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, 
the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Did you see that animal that says roar? What was it? That's right, it's a lion. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, but God protected him. I just love watching the Bible story about Daniel. He was faithful all the time, and he did what God said to do. He loved God so much, and he knew God loved him. And God loves you so much. That's why we can be faithful by doing what God says. He knows what is best and wants the best for us. Now it's time to see our Bible verse, but uh-oh, we have a problem. It's all covered in bubbles. Grab your bubbles and let's pop the bubbles. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it. All right, all right. Keep going. Yay! We're almost there. We got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three. Keep going. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. That's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here. Pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Did you get them all? It looks like you did. Now we can see our Bible verse. Our Bible verse is Joshua 1, 9. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged 
for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is a special verse that reminds us how much God loves us. He is with us always. This is the last time we're going to sing this verse together. So let's try singing all the words together. Let's stand up and sing Joshua 1, 9. This is Joshua 1, 9. Let's get ready to jump. Here we go. And we're gonna say some hey's. hey. All right, that was pretty good. Let's see if you can be louder. You ready? Hey. <laughs> All right, one more time as loud as you can say hey. hey. Good job. Now let's sing, be strong and courageous. Hey. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go, sing that out again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord, for the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go. All right, let's bounce and say hey. hey. Joshua one nine. Hey. Keep on bouncing and say hey. Be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Sing that out again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. All right, let's get jumping and say hey. Thanks for singing, friends. God loves and cares about us. He even cares about how we feel. He wants to help us when we feel afraid or need help to have courage. That's why we can stand with God. You know, I've been wondering what Winston's up to today. I think we're about to find out. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and let's watch Next Level. Winston, what's the challenge today? Ha <laughs> ha! Make a stack of blocks! That's it? Yep! Okay, um, how high? As tall as you can! But you have to do as I say! I will tell you a color, and then you'll have to stack that color! Okay, I think I can do this! Blue! Okay! Got it! Red! Okay! Yellow! Whoa! Green! Okay, give me a second! This kind of reminds me of, of how we can always do what God says. Blue! Oh, okay. Yellow! Oh. Purple! Whoa! What do you mean? Well, I mean, God tells us what to do and what not to do in the Bible. And we can be faithful by doing what he says. Red! Oh, whoa. Red! Whoa! Red! Whoa! What is faithful? Well, well, faithful means that you choose to stand with God. And we can do that by doing what he says. Red! Whoa! Green! Whoa! Purple! Whoa! You did it! Whoa, I did it! Good tower, Joey! Thanks! I mean, that's pretty tall. I, you think I made it to the next level? Not quite. That was pretty good. But this is our last show. So we gotta take it to the next level! Ah! Whoa! I'm supposed to stack all these? Yep. Well, it's gonna be a little bit harder than the small ones, but let's do it. And you can tell me why we should do what God says. Okay. Well, because he loves us. And he knows what's best for us. Wait, how can I know what God wants me to do? Well, you can read the Bible. Or you can pray and ask God what to do. Now, when we pray, we can ask God to help us do the right thing. And remember that God made us. Now, God loves us. And God is always with us. But Winston, I think this is just about as high as I can go. It's getting Whoa. a little windy. Yeah, that looks like it. But wait, next level! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa! Winston! You know I'm afraid of heights! Oh, you are? <laughs> Sorry! But hey, 
This is a good time for me to ask God to help me be brave. Now, when we're scared, we can ask our parents or a grown-up to pray with us, right? Yeah, okay, I'll pray for you, Joey. Okay. God, please help Joey to be brave. Amen. Amen. Whoa, Amen. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Let's get stacking, okay? Okay, red. Okay. Red one, red. Uh, yep, purple. purple. I love purple. All right, we gotta go up. Okay, Next yellow, level. Oh, yellow, next yellow, level. Yellow, next level. Next level. Okay. Go yellow, Joey, yellow. Let's go purple. Okay, purple, coming right up. Whoa. Oh. That is so high. Okay, green. Whoa. Whoa. All right, here we go. We gotta max out the lift. All right, let's go higher. Next Whoa. level. Whoa. The last box this right here. It. Whoa. We definitely made it to the next level. Joey, Look at this tower. I'm so proud of you. You've officially reached the highest level. Congratulations. Thanks, Winston. What's my prize? The coolest prize ever. Your very own next level button. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Winston. And hey, friends, remember that you can be faithful by doing what God says. Thanks for joining us for next level. You're awesome. Bye. Bye. And hey, Winston. I'm gonna send you to the next level. Oh, wait, what, how? Like this. Whoa, I got up here. That's so awesome. Look, <laughs> I can see everything. Whoa. I can't believe it actually worked, Winston. You're yeah. up so high. Yahoo! That was so much fun. Joey did a great job listening to Winston. Even when things went next level, it reminded them that we can always do what God says too. And when we do what God says, we are showing next level faithfulness. Remember, the things God says are good for us and help us. He loves us and knows what's best for us. You know, I think we should pray together and thank God for being faithful to us. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for your next level love. We pray that we would have a next level faithfulness just like Daniel did. We thank you for what we learned today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with me. I had so much fun with you today at church at home. Don't forget, we have more fun for you to do at home this week. So have your grown up at home help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check out the crafts and activities we put together for you this week. Remember that you have next level faith by doing what God says. This was our last time talking about Daniel and next level faithfulness. But we have another really cool new series starting next week that I don't want you to miss. So we'll see you next week for another episode of Church at Home. But until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye. Oh. <laughs>